What's up, you freaking geniuses? All right, so in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to multiply exponents that have the same base. And we're gonna cover positive and negative examples. So I think I'll be able to answer your questions within this video. Okay, so I'm gonna write down our generic equation just to give you a gist of what we're doing here. Okay, so this A represents your base and then the X and the Y represent your exponent. So whenever we have the same number here with different exponents, it's just gonna be that same number and then we're just gonna add the exponents together. Okay, so let's do a few examples. So if I gave you two cubed times two to the fourth, this would equal two to the three plus four. And we can reduce this down to two to the three plus four, which is seven. So as you can see, we had the same base right here, right? The same number. So we kept it. And then all we did was add this exponent and this exponent, right? So three plus four is equal to seven. And two to the seventh, that's equal to 128. Okay, so first of all, this is our main answer right here, right? Two to the seventh, does that make sense? Well, we can check it real quick, right? So two to the third, that's the same thing as two times two times two, right? And then we're multiplying this times two to the fourth, right? So this times is this times, and then we have two to the fourth, right? So that's two times two times two times two. Right, so we got three twos here and four twos here. How many total twos do we have? Well, we have seven total twos, right? Which, as you can see, is the exact same thing we got for our exponent right there. Okay, so let's start introducing some negative exponents. Now, what if I gave you three to the negative two times three to the fourth? Well, again, we're gonna keep our base, right, which is just three, and then our exponents, we're gonna add them together. Okay, so we have negative two plus positive four. Negative two, positive four. So simplified, this is gonna equal three to the positive two, right? Because negative two plus positive four is positive two. And three raised to the power of two, or three squared is simply nine, right? Okay, so let's move on to our next example. So if I gave you five to the first power times five to the negative four, okay, well remember we have our base right here, which is just five, and then we're gonna add the exponents. So we're gonna do one plus negative four. So this reduces down to five, and then what's one plus negative four? That's negative three. Okay, so I have a base with a negative exponent. All I'm gonna do is put that over one, okay? Then again, we're gonna flip this again and turn this thing positive. So rewritten, it's gonna look like one over five to the positive three. And this is simply equal to positive one over 125. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more example and then we're gonna move on to negative numbers. And then I think you'll have a good idea of how to do these. All right, so if I gave you nine to the negative two times nine to the positive two. Okay, well remember, keep our base, right? So we're gonna have a nine, and then we have negative two plus positive two. Negative two plus positive two. Okay, so this reduces down to nine to the zero power. And any number raised to the zero power is equal to one. Boom. Does your brain hurt? All right, good, we're gonna keep going then. Okay, so now I'm just gonna do a couple examples with negative numbers, and we're gonna clear all this up. Okay, so what if I gave you negative two to the second power times negative two to the first power? Okay, well remember, we're gonna keep our base, so our base is negative two, right? Negative two, negative two. And then we're just gonna add our exponents together, so we have a positive two here and a positive one here. So two plus one. Okay, so reduced, this is equal to negative two to the third power, which is simply equal to negative two times negative two times negative two, right? So what's negative two times negative two? That's positive four, right? And then what's positive four times this last negative two over here? Well, 
a positive times a negative, that's a negative, and then 4 times 2 is 8. There's your answer. Okay, so let's do another example. What if I gave you negative 8 to the negative 2 power times negative 8 to the 4th power? So again, what's our base here? It's negative 8, right? Negative 8. So we keep negative 8. And then we're going to add our exponents together, right? So we have negative 2, negative 2, plus positive 4. Okay, so let's reduce this. This is equal to negative 8, right? And then negative 2 plus 4, that's equal to positive 2, right? So negative 8 times negative 8 times negative 8. A negative times a negative is a positive, and then 8 times 8 is 64. So this is equal to positive 64. All right, let's do one last example. Okay, what if I gave you negative 2 to the negative 2 times negative 2 to the negative 1. Well, as you can see, our base here is negative 2 and negative 2, right? So we're going to keep negative 2, and then we're going to add the exponents together. So we're going to do negative 2 plus negative 1. Okay, and we're going to simplify this to negative 2, and then what's negative 2 plus negative 1? Well, that's just negative 3. And then how would I solve negative 2 to the negative 3? Well, remember, we just put this over 1, and then we flip it, right? So it's going to turn into 1 over negative 2, and then the exponent becomes positive to the positive 3. We don't change the base. Our base is negative 2. We keep it as negative 2. The only thing we change is the exponent, all right? Make sure you understand that. Do not turn this into a positive 2 because we're not changing the base. We just change the exponent. So let's evaluate this. So this is gonna be one over negative two times negative two times negative two, which is equal to one over negative eight, or simply written as negative one eighth. Boom. So guys, I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you still have questions, leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to try and help you out. There's a whole playlist on other exponent topics and other algebra topics attached at the end of the video. So if you need to check that out, definitely check it out and I'll see you there.